from the standout villain in Phase 1 of the MCU to headlining his own Disney Plus series, Loki is one of the MCU's most fascinating characters. He is also very complicated, seeming to show one side of his personality to the world only to hunt at some deeper aspects that he likes to keep hidden. With Season 2 of Loki on its way, fans can look back at some of the key quotes from the MCU that have come to define Loki as a character. They highlight what makes him an effective villain, his more relatable qualities, and why fans are still so in love with the God of Mischief. Am I Cursed? Loki, Thor, 2011. Though Loki seemed to have a nefarious attitude from a young age and was perhaps destined to follow a more villainous path, there was one tipping point for the character. After discovering that he can use the power of the Frost Giants, Loki asks his father if he is cursed only to realize he is a Frost Giant himself. In a way, Loki was cursed from that point forward as he saw himself as someone who was destined to rule but also as some sort of monster who must be feared. I could have done it father. Loki, Thor, 2011. Though Loki is a god with amazing abilities, he can also be seen as one of the most relatable MCU villains because of his motivations. After trying to destroy Jotunheim, Loki tells Odin that he could have done it. The fact that Loki was willing to kill countless innocent lives just to impress his father says so much about him as a character. All of his actions seem to come from his relationship with Odin, from wanting to make him proud to wanting to make him pay to feel remorse after losing him. Love is a dagger. Loki, Loki, 2021. Loki gives audiences the chance to explore the character in greater depth than ever before and there is some terrific development throughout the first season. This is especially true with his relationship with Sylvie in which Loki lets his guard down enough to give his opinions on love. Like the character himself, Loki's definition of love is complicated as he describes as as a dagger, something alluring that cannot be trusted. It feeds into the theme of Locus' own distrustful nature making it hard for him to trust anyone either. We may lose sometimes painfully, but we don't die. Loki, Loki, 2021. The multiverse saga has introduced a number of variants of pre-existing MCU characters which has been a lot of fun. Loki comes face to face with many of his own variants who further help to shine a light on who he is. When Sylvie questions if Locus were born to fail, Loki insists they are survivors. They are not born to succeed in the ways they imagine, but they are also resilient. It is also a fun in joke about Locus' penchant for faking his own death. About that, various Locus, Loki, 2021. When all the various versions of Loki come together, it doesn't take long before they fall into the usual routines. A hilarious scene finds the many versions of the God of Mischief hiding out in a bunker together as they continuously backstab each other. Just when one Loki thinks they have pulled off their scheme to take power, another one says about that, and turns the tables on them. It goes round and round showing that Loki cannot even trust himself not to betray him. We cut the throats of every person who trusts us, and for what? Classic Loki, Loki, 2021. One of the most interesting variants of Loki is classic Loki who helps the MCU's Loki realize things about himself. Classic Loki is older and has presumably seen more than the others which have allowed him some self-reflection that none of the others have. After they devolve into a series of betrayals, classic Loki wonders why they are that way. Seeing a version of Loki address his untrustworthiness and acknowledge how little it achieves is unexpected. 
I remember a shadow, living in the shade of your greatness. Loki, The Avengers 2012. The rivalry between Thor and Loki has also been a central part of Loki's journey in the MCU. The more powerful Thor gets, the more Loki resents his brother and feels that he is overlooked as a result of Thor's success. It is another relatable aspect of Loki and one that pushes him to prove himself better than his brother. He lives in the shadow of Thor's success and he goes to destructive lengths to escape it. I never wanted the throne. I just wanted to be your equal. Loki, Thor, 2011. While he is one of the Avengers and has saved the universe many times, Thor has acted like a villain many times before as well. With his arrogance and self-centered ways earlier on, he could have been somewhat responsible for leading Loki down that villain's path. Loki finally confronts Thor and admits that his ambition is not to take his place but instead to be seen as his equal. It gives a more sympathetic feel to Loki as he wanted a brother rather than a competitor. I guess what I am trying to say is that you'll always be the god of mischief but you could be more. Thor, Thor, Ragnarok 2017. Another significant moment of change for Loki is when Thor confronts him with some hard truths in Thor, Ragnarok. After seeing through another one of Loki's betrayals, Thor points out that Loki is stuck doing the same thing over and over rather than living up to his potential. While other factors might have played a part in leading him down this path, it is Loki who has embraced being the god of mischief. Finding redemption and making a name for himself is something only he can do himself, but he needs to be true to his faults if he is to achieve that. I am burdened with glorious purpose. Loki, The Avengers 2012. This is the epic assertion Loki makes when he first arrives on Earth in the Avengers. It is a statement that is meant to be selfless as well as arrogant which shows the strange way Loki views himself. He thinks that he is more important than everyone else and that he is burdened with ruling despite no one asking it of him. It also touches on that villainous side of him as it is a threat behind the boastful proclamation.